Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study an aspect of mechanical and science, which is the resultant force. It said, determine the resultant force of two coplanar forces. It has coordinate of what? 200 newton comma 60 degree and 85 newton comma 280 degree. So it means that the solution here, the solution, so it means that my first one, the first force, right, is given as what? 200 Newton comma what? 60 degree. And the second force is given as what? 85 newton comma 280 degree now we are told to look for the resultant right now we know very well that my resultant is a single force that can replace two or more forces are we good and still produce the same effect as those force. Now, this force are inclined at an angle of 260 degree and that of 20 degree. So, if I represent this to make our work easier, I'm going to be having this. I'll have this. And this. So, along my y-axis, the north pole here, the north part here is what? Zero degree. We are going in what? In a clockwise direction. Along here is 90 degree, that is my east. My south is 180 degree. And my west is 270 degree, so back to this guy here. Now we have F1 is 200 newton 60 degree. The magnitude is 200 newton acting at what 60 degree. I know for my 60 degree will fall somewhere around here. Right? So the angle here, the magnitude here is what 200 newton. And the angle at which it forms to this point is 60 degree. Now, if you subtract 60 from 90, you will be left with what? 30 degree. Right? Now, this force is inclined. So, resolving this force, you discover that I'll be having my vertical component, which will give me 200 sine 30 and also I'll be having my horizontal component which will be also be 200 cos 30 also we have this is my force my force 1 then my force 2 we're having this 280. If I move to here, it's 90. This is 180. This is 270. So I need to add 10 to 270 to have 280. So the 10 degree I'm acting will be somewhere around here. Right? So we're having this. And this will be 85 Newton. Right? Acting at an angle of what? 10 degree to the horizontal now it is inclined I'll have to what resolve it so resolving it I'll have this and I'm going to have this so this will be 85 sine 10 degree here will be 85 
equals 10 degree right now we need to get the summation because the force is more than one the force acting at the horizontal is more than one and the force acting at the vertical is also more than one so we say that i recall my resultant is equal to what the square root of summation of what f of x right all square plus summation of what f of y all square right so we want to calculate for f of x so calculating calculating for the summation of the force is acting along the x axis we have this facing the right 200 cos 30 and we have this facing the left which is minus 2 minus 85 cos 10 degree is that okay? now apart from that this force is at the first quadrant so everything you see is positive this force is at the second quadrant right so my cos anything cos will be what negative while the sign will be what positive right you can use that way too but definitely it's facing that is negative now my 200 cos 30 will be 200 cos 30 173.205 Newton that is for my f of x then for calculating for f of y calculating for f of y Calculating for F summation of what Fy. So we focus on the vertical one. So we have two hundred facing up. So we have two hundred sine thirty plus eighty five sine ten degree. And if you look at it, I did not complete this right so minus 85 cos 10 that will give me 83.71 newton so if you subtract it 173.21 minus 83.71 that will give me 89.5 89.5 Newton as the first thing now also if you do this 200 sine 30 will give me 100 we have 100 here plus 85 sine 10 14.76 so we are going to be having 114.76 newton so that is the force along so this force you see here is the summation of what f of y and this force you see here is the Summation of what f of x. Now, if you place them into um, the formula here, so my resultant force will now give me the square root of. So I'm writing f of x. I'm going to put this. This is 89.5 square plus. F of y, so we will use our put this 114.76 square. So
So, my resultant force will now give me 89.5 square is 8,010.25 the square root there plus 114.76 square One, we have one three one six nine point eight six. So the arrow here will now give me eight thousand and ten point two five. That will give me the square root of two one one. 80.11 so my arrow here will not give me 145 145.53 newton that is my resultant force is that the key? now we also need the angle at which the resultant force is what? Is acting so you recall that my tan theta is equals to the summation of what f of y over what the summation of what f of x right and um, this will now be what is my summation of f of y that is 114.76 114.76 all over 89.5 so my tan theta will now give me uh, 114.76 divided by 89.5 and we're having 1.282 so my theta will I become tan inverse of 1.282 shift tan inverse that will give me theta to be what 52.04 or oh, 1.05 is better degree so this half my answer here. Is that okay? So if this video has been beneficial to you, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.